The grandmothers, we have come to remind you who you are. You were not put on earth alone. Each of you is on the life path that's perfect for you. Some of you are just beginning to come awake to who you are, beginning to learn what this life you are living is about. Most of you are focused on learning what you can so you can be happier and more at peace. And although everyone wants this happiness and peace for themselves, some of you are trying to help others as they also travel this road of living and loving. Everyone is on the path to truth, on the path to love, and will eventually reach the goal. Some of you will take a longer route, sometimes a circuitous route, and some may for a time seem to deviate from the path. And there are some who will take to the path in great strides. There are many, many pathways up the mountain. There is no one way to travel the path of life, and there are no actual mistakes along the way, but only differences, the grandmother said. As you travel, each of you goes at your own pace, and at every moment you are learning and experiencing exactly what you need to learn and experience. Know this, they said, and relax. Relax and allow yourself to learn. We encourage you, they said, whenever the opportunity presents itself, to reach out and help one another along. And we ask you to do this, not only for these other ones, but also for yourself. Helping someone else always helps you, they said, smiling happily. And because this is how life works, you will find that you move farther along on the path whenever you assist those around you. In the end, helping someone else is as good as, in fact, even better than, helping yourself. So ask yourself, who can I help now? Is there someone who'd benefit from my attention today? How can I be of service? Ask these simple questions. Ask us or any form of the divine you love and then see what happens. The universe always listens. It's ever attentive. It stands ready to make your life richer. So ask for guidance and then observe the way things happen. Who shows up? Who calls, texts or emails you? Who do you happen to run into, think or dream of? Just watch. You will be watching for the magic of life, observing the vital living flow of the universe itself. You live within that flow, the grandmother said. You are a living, breathing testament to the flow of life. You eat, sleep and breathe this flow, but you tend to forget about it. That is why we have come, they said. We have come to remind you of who you are. And today we remind you that you were not put on earth alone. No. They shook their heads. You are part of the family of life. You are one with the great weave of life. So reach out to your sisters and brothers who share this time on earth with you and ask them, how can I help? You will get your answer, the grandmother said, and that will make you very happy.